we obviously got this information. Um, so the, the meeting that took place of the three people, the former CEO, the finance director and the financial controller, it was a, an internal finance meeting. Is there no minutes of that meeting? <coughs> would that would, be the norm? I would have to establish that as to how the uh, exchanges were recorded. Okay, so it was a private meeting with no minutes by the sound of it. It would have been a finance department meeting with the CEO present. Highly unusual, isn't it? I mean, for, for a major uh, organisation. Anyway, so the, the information of the extraordinary and unusual shortfall, as it's characterised in funds, and a very unusual loan, wasn't formally told to the board for nearly two years, from what you say today. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. Either by the CEO or the other people who were informed. Right, so... Should the former CEO not have told you about that? Do you, do you think he failed in not telling you? I understand why the transaction happened the way it happened. Um, Short-term difficulty, here's the solution. Hmm. But it's a kind of a yes or no thing. Should he not have told you he's the CEO, he was the CEO? I, I've said, Deputy, earlier that I don't see that that should be a, a practice we apply going forward if these difficulties arise. But he should have told the board about it. The three members involved could have okay. president so or whomever. Would, would you agree that if this happened in any other organisation, that a board wasn't informed of such serious financial information, like any Mickey Mouse club or anything like that, that there'd be serious questions asked? Would you agree? Deputy, I'm dealing with the organisation that I'm a part of right now. You know, um, I'm, there was a question earlier about if a League of Ireland club did this or there's some other organisation on that. That's, that's really I'm dealing with the organisation. Any I'm club at all. But potentially, do you not think, if that happened in any organisation, that the people involved would have been asked to stand down pending an investigation? We have a number of investigations in play, as you know. But all of the, yeah, but right. nobody has stepped down that was involved well, in the transaction. There are, there are a number of investigations in play internally, externally. Findings and reports will be shared with key stakeholders. Okay. Given the repercussions of this action for uh, Sport Ireland withholding grants, as it announced yesterday, in your own statement you say the FAI is highly dependent, or, you know, its grassroots is highly dependent on those grants. Should you not have asked the former CEO to resign? Sport Ireland, I think, said at this meeting, at this uh, Oroctus, Joint Oroctus Committee meeting last week, that 5% of our funding yeah. comes from Sport Ireland. Um, and given the potential threat to that now, should you not have asked the CEO to step down pending an investigation into all of this for not telling you for two years about this? No, my focus now, Deputy, is on m managing my relationship or our relationship with Sport Ireland to ensure that later on this year, further tranches of that money will come into the FAI. OK, so instead of asking the former CEO, who's ultimately responsible, to, to step down, the board took a decision to do this Jonathan Hall report, and you took a decision to create a new additional position for the board, which was Executive Vice President. Um, how will this be funded? You've got a cash flow problem. You've just created a new position. How will it be funded? Well, we've made changes to senior executive positions. Um, they will be contracts. I'm not happy to go into the cost of either that new role or in due course when we appoint a new chief executive officer. It's very pertinent, though, to governance and funding in the sense of Sport Ireland. So you, you don't know how it will be funded at the moment. Uh, I'm um, not saying, sorry, Deputy, I'm, I'm not saying okay. I don't know how it's going to be funded. I said I don't want to discuss that issue at this point in time. But that is in the remit, I would think, of the committee. But anyway, um, you, you've said to could previous... I, could, I, could I just say, Deputy, if it may be helpful, yeah. Sport Ireland funding, when you come back to what's the remit of this committee, the money we get from Sport Ireland, it's very clear what it's spent on. It will not be spent on the positions we're talking about. Yeah, no, I'm aware of that, but it, it relates to financial sustainability as part of the brief. And it, 
Can I just ask you, you you've already said you, you, you didn't feel the necessity, the board didn't feel the necessity to have an interview for this new position because the perfect candidate already existed. Um, are you telling us today that despite all of the non-disclosure of the former CEO and others to the board, you wish to keep Mr Delaney because of his connections with UEFA and FIFA? That seems to be what you just said earlier. I wish to deploy whatever personnel we have to best effect. So Where, any other issues don't matter because of his connections with UEFA? I would like to, what I want to do is to use the assets of the association to best effect. We have a number of key projects. Who are the key or the most important personnel to work over those projects? That informed the decisions around the Jonathan Hall report. Okay, so, so this new position that the board created and isn't advertising, um, the former CEO said, I think on radio and stuff, that, or in an interview, that was because he was doing three jobs. He just wasn't able to do them, so a new position had to be created. Um, are you seriously telling us that that's the reason for this? Is it not a demotion of the former CEO? What I'm seriously telling you is that I think, going forward, having a CEO that manages, looks after, leads our executive team, that looks after the domestic game and, of course, our international teams, and then a separate position, as lots of other member associations of UEFA have, a separate, separate position of executive vice president, the board feels that that will serve the FBI better going forward. That, that will be fine, except it just happens to coincide with public revelations about this loan. The discussion That's about coincidental, is it? better arranging our senior ex executives has gone on for many months, Deputy. Okay, so I just wanted to ask uh, Mr Delaney, obviously in your statement that you've just given us, you said you're, for legal reasons you don't wish to talk about your role as former CEO or the loan. But you are willing and you're happy to talk about your current role. So I'd like to ask you about that. Um, so y you've said that you, this current role is to um, focus more because you, you couldn't previously do the, the, the three jobs that were amounting up. Would it be fair to say, though, that you're still double jobbing as executive vice president and on the UEFA committee, as a member of the UEFA committee, it's still two jobs that you're doing? Um, no. Um, uh, the president is quite right that a number of months ago we would have discussed the time constraints and the amount of time I've had to spend doing effectively three roles every weekend. Our uh, deputy Troy referred to it going to grassroots functions, visiting over 2,000 clubs in a period of time. Secondly, uh, trying to manage a business now that has a turnover of almost 50 million and 205 full-time staff. And thirdly, being on the board of UEFA, but also managing the specific projects that was outlined by both the President and I. Okay. So my role now is to, as a member of the board of UEFA, but also to manage the specific projects that we've outlined now and I'll be able to use my strengths in those specific roles to hopefully bring big tournaments to Ireland, bring more funding back to the FAI for grassroots and for the running of the game as well. Do you think it's fair that you are answerable to the public in, in, in your roles, including in your current role, given that the public do contribute to the, you know, the buying of the match tickets, to the football jerseys, to the merchandise, and while... You've said here today, for legal reasons, following the Angela Cairns case, that you're not willing to talk about it. But do you not think that you have a duty to the public to answer some questions? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Left, you know, I think the question. Pardon? I I've read my statement as it is. Okay. okay. Well, would you on, on your current role? Um, it, would it be fair or accurate to say that the salary for that is more than the total? League of Ireland uh, prize just, money? Uh, I, 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 the, obviously, it's a question everybody would like answers to, but this committee, you don't have to answer that question given our. our, our he wants to. Sorry, no, 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 let's be honest about this now. I'm 
He can choose Sherry, not to. No, 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 I, what I'm saying to him is that he can answer if he wishes to, but he doesn't have to if he doesn't want to. Yeah. Okay. Our, 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 just our role as a committee is to stay within our remit, and I just, as you know, I'm obliged to point that out. So. Right, well, um, he, Mr Delaney has said he's willing to answer about his current role, which is, is very much connected to, uh, you know, club development, etc. So uh, my well, question is... Fair, time is up on this, but you, everybody will get in again the second time. So well, can I no finish issue. with one last one? Because uh, no, no, I couldn't I, get that. Sorry, right. just, I just want to, I want to get this right. We have another vote on the Shannon, oh, Lord, and right. we're going up a when, uh, well, what, what I was going to suggest is that the next person was Senator Mahoney, followed by Deputy O'Keefe. But if, if um, I haven't asked any question yet, Chair. No, no, I know that. Sorry, I'm just reading the list Deputy I have here. Deputy Sorry, Deputy. I, I apologise for what I'm looking at here. Deputy O'Keefe, uh, Paul Kedig, and Frank.